Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, thanks for tuning in. This is Joe and Diecast, and my name's Eric. Um, on today's episode, I just want to go over a few of my most recent finds. Picked up a few pretty cool things, I think, uh, lately, in the last few weeks. Um, I haven't put out a video in a while. I've had some trouble getting some things uploaded, but uh, hopefully uh, this one will upload with no problem, and we'll go over a few things, get caught up to where I'm at now, and I'll get to share a few of the things that i found. I think you'll like, uh, like some of the stuff. As you can probably see, I'm not in my Hot Wheels room right now. I'm in my bedroom. My Hot Wheels room is a mess. Just reorganizing, doing some things differently, trying to get it all set up, make better videos, of course. And stick around. We'll go over a few things. I'll try to keep this video short, and I appreciate each one of you. Hang on. Okay, so here we go. We're just going to start right here. Um, obviously, it's a QK's treasure hunt. Um, these are the first castings that I found of the QK's treasure hunt, the Lamborghini uh, police car. Pretty cool. I mean, probably not one of my favorite treasure hunts. You know, it is a treasure hunt. Um, I do have several of the treasure hunts from 2021. So I was glad to find this. Um, unfortunately, um, one of them took a tumble here at the house and uh, cracked a blister, so... That's going to be an opener for me eventually. I'll open that. I'll open that and put it on the put it on a shelf eventually. PK's treasure hunt, the '65 Galaxy. Um, probably one of my favorite treasure hunts, um, as this is uh, many of you all. I was happy to find this. This is one I was really wanting, and it eluded me for a while. So I was happy to pick this one up. Um, Found it at the very same place as I, I found these. Found them, as a matter of fact, um, everything you're about to see came from the very same Walmart at the very same hunt. Um, ended up picking up another one of those and another one. So, yes, I got three of them. Um, you know, I ended up finding four of them. There was another collector there and I, I passed one along to him. Um, and then I took the other three. Um, um, I usually or I typically like to collect into two or three mm -hmm. castings um, Definitely going to keep one in a blister um, Definitely going to open one and then I got an extra just in case uh, You know for a trade If uh, one of my buddies needs one or whatever so So found all these uh, at the same Walmart like I said it's been about a month or so ago um, found all these um, in addition to these treasure hunts I did score the super from the PKs um, very happy to get this one guys this is a this is a really sweet casting the super treasure hunt I mean the the mainline casting is pretty sweet I think um, I'm a gasser guy I'm an old-school muscle car guy so um, castings like this I mean I, I'm, I'm really thrilled about I um, love these castings. Of course, I've already got it in a uh, protector pack, um, as one does when they find a super. So, uh, it's happy to happy to get that. Happy to pick that up. This is only my third super treasure I've come across. Um, I only recently got back into collecting. Um, is March of 2021, so it's not been quite a year yet. So, this was the third one that I found so far. Um, and I was fortunate enough to, uh, to find another one. So that was pretty cool. And believe it or not, um, I don't have it here to show, but I actually found three, three super treasure hunts, the 64 Nova Gasser. Um, I've actually taken one and sent it off to a, another fellow YouTuber. So, um, maybe, uh, if you guys are... Uh, subscribed to that youtuber I won't mention his name right now but maybe you'll see that one in a future mail call on his channel so I won't mention him like I said mention him in a future video of mine but uh guys I found all of that same haul uh, like I said found actually found three supers so so that was a sweet sweet haul um, love that one best haul I've ever had by far um, and I picked up a few additional castings as well but these were the, these were the standouts for sure so gray hall gray hall on that one all right guys next up 
is the uh, the roadkill, uh, the Motor Trend exclusives um, from the roadkill uh, show. I do have the um, General Mayhem as well. If you keep up with the roadkill guys um, on the on the Motor Trend channel or uh, stream streaming, but uh, they had these um, for sale on their website here. Uh, this is about a month or so ago. Um, I think it was 45 bucks for both of them. So this was one that I was really wanting. The old Rotson. I think that's just a cool, cool casting right there. Yeah, really like that one. And then of course you got to have the uh, Dotson 240Z. Pretty cool. And one of my most recent finds, guys. You can guess what that is. Yeah, buddy. Just picked this up about a week ago. Matter of fact, it was last week. Um, stopped at my local Walmart on my way to work one morning. Noticed they had just stocked some cases. They looked like they'd been picked through, guys. I mean, they weren't in any particular order. They were just scattered around, laying on the shelves. Looked like somebody just rummaged through them. And to be honest with you, I was just about ready to bypass it and thought I'd stop and see uh, see if there was any of the newer A-case castings that I hadn't found yet. And lo and behold, I found that beauty. Is she not gorgeous? This has got to be one of my favorite castings by far. I'm going to take it out of the blister pack. And guys, I've seen this posted before on other people's channels. And I've seen pictures of it on the internet. Gosh, in person, this thing is flat out wicked. I want to take it out of the. I want to take it out of the blister so badly. Um, hopefully, I find another one and I can do that. But I want to keep this one here, nice and clean and safe inside her little capsule. But uh. But as soon as I find another one, guys, I'm going to release it and, and see how it looks outside the safety of that plastic bubble. But yeah, guys, I was, I was happy to thrill to death to find that one. Really cool. Really cool. And again, I mean, as soon as you get home, I mean, it's got to go in a, it's got to go in a, protector pack all right next up um, what I like to do when I go to when my local Walmarts and targets and all that don't have anything on the pegs I have a local um, antique mall with some different booths in there consignment booths or what have you um, one guy in there in particular sells nothing but Hot Wheels die cast you know matchbox whatever M2 Johnny Lightnings um, I like to go in there this dude has some pretty cool stuff, um, some older castings, um, mainly um, stuff that you know you just don't find on the shelves anymore. And believe it or not, guys, he has almost everything in there priced at like two bucks. I mean, you can't beat it. I can't beat it. Um, so here's a few things I picked up. We'll start with this here, Toyota off-road truck, guys. This is a uh, so 2016. Um, this was back when I wasn't actively collecting. I would still buy one or two here and there, but I wasn't, I wasn't peg hunting by any means. And so, obviously, I haven't seen this one yet. But I mean, guys, check out the graphics on that thing. Is that not awesome? I mean, that color. Um, it's just, I mean, those red wheels. I just thought that was awesome. That thing just stood out for me. I mean, there's nothing special. It's not a treasure hunt. It's not. It's not a super. There you go, guys. Two dollars. But man, those colors, that livery. I just thought it. I I couldn't pass it up, guys. I just had to grab it. I just love that thing. Also picked up. Uh, let's see. We'll go right here. I found this here too. I just thought this was pretty wicked. Um, 2016 again. Um, I like all the police and fire and rescue vehicles and whatnot, different castings. 
And this particular casting, of course, it's nowhere on a card. So it may be before they did started the actual Zamat castings. I don't even know when they started doing those, but um, this is a this is a Zamat casting. I mean, there's no paint on that whatsoever, other than the uh, the tampos. Um, but I just thought that was cool, guys. Uh, Chevy Blazer four by four. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's just sweet. I mean, the card's not bad. I mean, it's not perfect. It's not mint by any means, but that's all right. I ain't worried about that. Again, another two dollars. I just thought that was sweet. That's just wicked. I love those wheels on there, too. Um, another one I picked up. This one's got an old school card on it. Um, it's actually not that old, though. In 2012, I guess it is a little, little old. Um, but, man, it's, look at this thing. I've never seen this before. Look at that thing. I mean, it's called a sting rod. Again, another police vehicle. But look at it. Kind of got a Mad Max type uh gas lands look to it i mean i just it's metal and metal metal base metal casting look at the engine on that thing it looks like a turd on an old battleship or something um look at that. got the it's all armored everything's armored on it got missile launchers on it I just thought that was cool. I just thought that was wicked casting. Oh, those wheels. Those wheels are old school wheels. You can tell. You don't. You don't find those wheels much anymore. But uh, yeah, I had to pick that up. Couldn't let that pass. All right, moving on. I'll go ahead and show these in pairs since I've got them both laid out here. Pick these up. Again, this is all at the same place, guys. Two dollars a piece. These are from 2016 again. And I guess this is the uh, that wrong way. Uh, Hot Wheels Mild to Wild series. So that's the mild. Of course, we all love the Bone Shaker. Um, and that was just one casting of the Bone Shaker I hadn't acquired yet. Love that green, though. I don't know if it's the lighting here is doing it any justice, but it's a really sweet-looking green. I mean, got a little metal flake in it. And then, of course, there's the wild. I guess that would be the wild casting to it. The Baja Bone Shaker. Pretty cool. Same color. My hair actually looks a little darker. But they're pretty close to the same color. Um, yeah, I just, of course, you know, you get one, you got to have the other one to go with it. So, pick both of those up. Love them. Love the, love the Bone Shaker. Moving right along. Guys, I mean, I'm an old school muscle car guy. And this one was not in my collection that I know of. I'll have to go back and check, but it's from 2012. That, that was an era where I wasn't actively collecting. I collected from 90, about 92 to 99, 2000. Then I kind of quit for a while until recently picking it back up. But look at this thing. That is just sweet, sweet, sweet. 64 Galaxy. I mean, I love the stance on that thing. I love the color. I know back in the day, <clears throat> you don't hear it much anymore, but back in the day, we called that competition orange. So the old, old school guys may remember that. And even the chrome on it, it's kind of like that black tinted chrome. It's not the shiny, bright chrome. But that's just a, it's just a nice casting. 427. Just had to have that. Had to add that to my collection. Next up is something uh, some of you JDM guys may appreciate. Old Dotson Bluebird 510. Look at that. I love, love, love the Hot Wheels livery on vehicles. And this isn't technically the, the race team livery, but it is a Hot Wheels racing livery. From the Night Burners 2010. Uh, I just, I saw this, and I'm not a JDM guy by any means. No offense in people who are. I mean, they've got some great castings out there. I mean, but I just had to have this one. I mean, this was just, the colors just popped for me. Um, I'm a red, white, and blue through and through type guy, and so I had to have that. Had to add, had to have this in my collection, so. And then, finally, guys, Again, this is all from the same vendor. $2 a piece. I scored this one. 
And I'm not a Mustang guy. If you know, you know. I'm not a Mustang guy. But look at this sweet ride. Guys, check it out. I don't even particularly like the color green. But man, does that thing not pop. Look at those flames. Look how sleek. Look how clean those lines are. The stance, and they kind of a little overdid it with that back wheel, but still, guys, look at that, man. That is just, look at the flame job on that thing. I mean, it is sweet. Totally green, chrome bottom. It is a treasure hunt from 2010. I don't think they got, I don't know if they've got a symbol. No, they don't have, the, this is before they put the symbol on the, uh, on the card, I would assume. I don't see a symbol on it. But anyway. Yeah, back in the day, they actually told you it was a treasure hunt. You didn't have to go searching for it. But, I mean, how sleek is that? Pretty nice. I love it. I couldn't pass that up. And I'm, I'm not usually a Mustang guy, but I can appreciate a work of art like that for sure. Yeah. Got all those for $2, guys. I mean, hey. Guys, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm, I mean, I'm not about paying scalpers high prices, but guys, your local guys that are, are selling stuff like this, man, I'll pay two dollars for these all day long. Where you gonna find? You're not gonna find these anywhere for ninety four cents or a dollar. That's for sure. All right, this next casting, again, it's not really anything special about it, other than horse wagon, um, Hot Wheels mail vehicle. Um, if you haven't figured out by now, and, and I probably haven't even said anything, but, uh, um, I collect all types of mail, uh, paraphernalia and castings and, uh, stuff like that. Um, actually my job, um, I'm a mail carrier, uh, by trade. So, um, yeah, I collect all kind of stuff like this. Um, my son actually got this for me for Christmas. And I've never seen this casting from 2009. So, well, yeah, it says right there. Um, yeah, I just, I mean, I've seen the Morris wagon casting, but I've not seen it um, with the, the Hot Wheels and Mail tampos on it. Of course, that engine. Look at that engine, guys. Good Lord. And that's, that's cool. I, I mean, the gold on it, it just pops. I mean, I don't even think it would look as good as if it was just chrome like they usually do but but they went a little extra mile there and made it gold i mean it just i just love it i think it's cool yeah my son found it for me um, i don't know where he got it at or how much he paid for it or not i mean hopefully not too much but yeah i love that love that car it's pretty cool all right guys getting ready to wrap it up here um i just want to show this of course it's the zamac um, actually from the uh, J case and I just dug dug this out of a dump band believe it or not <laughs> cards in pretty good shape um, yeah I, I don't particularly collect the Zing Max but I do buy them if I see them um, and I didn't have this one um, the Honda CRX yeah so I thought that was pretty cool just wanted to show that to you so guys don't don't shy away from the dump bands you never know what's in there I've found treasure hunts in dump bands before so yeah stick with it um, also I wanted to show you this one picked this one up recently um, I know I've seen this in other people on other people's channels um, while they were doing peg hunts and they've kind of just pushed it to the side and went on past it but, man it was killing me because I've been looking for this and looking for this no it's not a chase but guys I actually own a Schwinn Stingray bicycle a 1971 Grey Ghost Schwinn Stingray, and I've had it since I was probably about eight years old. Um, I didn't get it new, but it was in new condition when I got it. One of my I got it from an older cousin of mine that had outgrown it, and uh, it was passed along to me. And I've have it, had it ever since, and it's out in the shed right now as we speak. I've had that thing. I'll never get rid of it. Um, 
but yeah i've been looking for this and looking for this and uh so i was happy to find it guys i mean you know the casting is is fair but i just wanted it for the uh for the graphics so go up right along with my bike here's the uh schwinn badge all right guys these uh these next castings um you may recognize them picked all these up off the walmart.com website um they're all the uh i think they're all the mail-in um rlc cars um they've got several of them on their website um and believe it or not the the regular price on these is thirty dollars twenty nine ninety five or something like that these were all marked down to ten dollars so i i got all of my the only thing is um the dairy delivery i believe it was fifteen dollars um, but that's one of my favorite castings. I like that casting. And guys, if you haven't checked out the Walmart.com site, um, how you do so, guys? These are some. They, they all have real riders. Um, um, a few of them are the Zamac. That one's Zamac. Uh, this one's Zamac. Zamac series. Um, this isn't a particularly favorite casting of mine, but it is Corvette. I do collect Corvettes. And of course, it's a RLC, so so in ten dollars, you can't beat it, guys. Not too bad. I just wanted to show these real quick and let you guys know if you didn't already know. This Chevelle is pretty cool. Um, don't particularly like the color. Um, would have been cool a different color, but but I mean, guys, I mean for ten bucks a piece, I mean that ain't too bad. Look at that. You're at fifty-seven. That's pretty cool. That's pretty wicked. I like it. So yeah, uh, go check out your Walmart.com site. Um, just be careful when you go in and search, search for Hot Wheels RLC, and then you gotta go up there and you gotta filter, you gotta filter your search down to um, the the um, supplier as Walmart. If you open it up across the internet, you're gonna get people wanting wanting eighty dollars a piece for these. So make sure you you get it as the the, um, the supplier is Walmart. So you'll find these guys. Ten, they're still ten dollars a piece. They got several other ones on there too that they're still regular price of thirty dollars. So if you don't care to pay thirty dollars, I mean, hey, jump on it. I don't know how many they got, but but you might find something on there you like. So check it out, guys. And uh, last but not least, um, I just want to go over this. Um, it's the old Gas Monkey Corvette. It's from that uh, recent set that came out. It's got the uh, the Deadpool uh, moped on it in it. Um, the Beatles Yellow Submarine. Um, a few other castings, but um, but I I found this one. I, I couldn't find it in the stores. Um, they would have the set, but they would be missing this one. I guess this is the one everybody was after. Um, so I just couldn't find it in the store. And just by chance, I ran across it on the Amazon site. I was on Amazon one day. It was on Amazon for five nine five dollars and ninety nine cents free shipping. So I thought, what the heck? I mean, that's about what you pay in a store for it. So. So I went ahead and bought it. I sent off and bought it. And uh, I got it. And they put it in a padded envelope, guys. And look, it just smashed the crap out of the blister. And the card, I kind of tried to straighten it out a little bit. But the card was all bent and mangled. And I mean, I, you know, guys, it's just, it's not such a big deal. I mean, I, I planned on leaving it in the blister. But, but I may just go ahead and take it out of the blister now that it's all busted. Yeah, kind of disappointing. I, I left a review about it too. I mean, they, I could have at least put it in a box. I mean, my goodness, sometimes you, they, they ship stuff in the biggest boxes, and it might just be a small item. I mean, you buy a cell phone case and they'll put it in a box, you know, this size right here or something. So, but yeah, they put that in a padded envelope and just disappointed about it. So, so be leery when you get stuff off of Amazon, guys. Just. Just want to put that out there too but yeah so um so that's the gist of my my recent finds um there's probably a few other things that i miss i'll go over in a future video but but yeah appreciate you guys hey thanks for all the new subs um i see you i hear you if you've recently subscribed to me um i've tried to go back and subscribe to to your channel as well and watch some of your videos everybody's doing different things i love seeing different things customs peg hunts mail calls um hey thanks for tuning in thanks for the support 
Um, I'm getting some stuff ready for my next video already. So stick with me, stay tuned, and we'll talk to you later. And that's all, folks.